Okay, so good morning, uh, students. All right, so today I'm going to be uh, the first time we looking at starting tools. Remember when our last conversation I said I was looking at drawing, but then I was checking and realized that we've not done cutting tools, so we have to start cutting tools. I'm talking about cutting tools, there are a lot of cutting tools, okay, there are a lot of cutting tools, different types. Okay, the one that we use at the metal workshop, the one that we use at the the sewing shops and all that. But they want to look at woodwork cutting tools. Okay, woodwork cutting tools. We talk about we talk about woodwork cutting tools. We talk about tools I would use in making furniture works. Uh, the normal fiacre jana it's not The normal woodwork furniture works that we use in the homes. The one that the couch or the sofa that we use in our bedrooms or our halls, family areas and all that. And all other woodworks you see outside. So you don't want to look at cutting tools. Now when I talk of cutting tools, what are they? When I talk of cutting tools, they are just tools that are used to reduce the size of, of a material or an object. So if I pick this wood here, okay, this wood here, and I want to have a two piece out of this full length. So like I said, I want to get this this is a full length tool, so I want to get two of this. I want to cut this into two and get two out of this. And what I will do is that I have to use a cutting tool. I have to use a cutting tool. And the cutting tool that we're looking at today is the bench saws. Bench saws. We're looking at the bench saws. We talk about bench saws. What are bench saws? We talk about bench saws. We are simply talking about a rip saw or a thicker example of a bench saw is a rip saw. Okay. So we have uh, example of bench saws. Example of bench saws are rip saw, uh, and a cross cut saw, and a dough field, a good field, and we have the camera saw. The camera saw, the good field, cross cut saw, the camera saw. The camera saw. But today we'll be looking at just two of these saws. So we'll look at the rip saw and the cross cut saw. But if you have a rip saw, we are simply talking about this. Okay, this, this is a rip saw. The difference between the cross cut saw and the rip saw is that the rip saw is a bit longer than the cross cut saw. So if you look at these two tools I have here, the one beneath it is very long and this one is a bit short. Okay, so this is the rip saw. And this is the cross cut saw. Alright, they are both woodwork cutting tools, or they are both bench saws. They are both with bench saws. Alright, so let's look at how these two saws work. Okay, let's say I have this wood here, this wood here, and I want to make an object out of this wood. And the object I want to make out of this wood demands or requires that I have to cut it into pieces. I can't go and use the normal kitchen knife or the bread knife or whatsoever. And then unless I use a proper or a correct bend saw, the one I'll be using is both the rip saw and the cross cut saw. The reason why I'm using both is that if you look at this wood that I have here, okay, have this part of the wood, then if I want to cut, I have to cut it across this length, along this length, and also across this side here. You understand? So if I want to cut across, I want to cut along this side, the what I'll do is that I will use the rip saw. Okay, I'll use the rip saw. But then if I want to cut along it like this, then I'll have to use the cross cut saw. Alright, so let's look at how we cut along the grain of the leaf. Let's look at how we cut along the grain of the leaf. Alright, so this is the rip saw. I want to cut along the grain. We talk of the grains of wood. We are just talking about this and this. Okay. So if it is along the grain, then it means I have to cut across the side. Okay, I have to cut across the side. So let's just say that I don't have a proper bench here. Let's just say I want to cut along the grain of this wood. What I will do is that I'll just position the saw in this manner and I'll start cutting. Okay. So you realize that I'm cutting along the grain of this wood. I'm cutting along the wood. 
the grain of this woman. And the tool I'm using is what? The whistle. Okay, and it was only used to cut along the grain of the wood. You understand? It was only used to cut along the grain. I repeat it again. It was only used to cut along the grain. Why? Because it is only this tool that when you use, or let's say you want to cut along the grain of the wood, and you use any of that, you might not get the proper shape that you want to get, or the proper length that you want to get. So when you use a whistle, you can be able to cut up correctly or probably along the middle of this room. Alright. Now, if I want to reduce the size, okay, of this room into two, it means I have to cut across it, across the lines. And the only thing I can use to cut across the grain of this room is the whole The cross cut, cross cut, cross cut of what so if I'm cutting across or along if I'm cutting across the grain of the wood, then it means that I have to use the rest of the cross cut. So, so this is the wood. Okay. Now, to cut it into two, I will not have to use the rip saw that we use when we're cutting along. You understand? But then I have to use the, wood, the cross cut saw to cut it into two. So, if I'm cutting across the grain of this wood, I have to position it this way, and I'll cut small, 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 small. When you are cutting, you don't exert so much pressure. When you are cutting, you start by cutting it small, 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 small. So when you get stability, then you can exert pressure, you can exert pressure. So what I'm doing is that I'm cutting along the grain of this wood using the cross cut saw. Using the cross cut saw. Okay, so now that we know two best saws, which is the root saw and the cross cut saw. And we know how it is used. What is used to cut across the grain of wood, and what is also used to cut cut along the grain of the wood. If you look at the Oscar show, uh, Oscar show, which is the shorter one, okay, it varies. You might see ones that are even longer than this, but then they can never be longer than the wood saw. Okay, so it varies. So you see a Oscar saw, some varies from some varies from 500 uh, mm. Some varies from 500 mm, which is millimeters, to 600 or 650 millimeters. Okay, that is for the cross cut saw. Cross cut saw. It varies from 500 mm to 600 or 650 mm. So you might see one that is 500 in length, you might see one that is 600 in length, you might see one that is like 650 in length. Alright. Okay. And it is used, like I said, it is used to cut across the grain of the wood. It is used to cut across the grain of what? The wood. That is for the cross cuts. So, alright. Now let's look at the real saw. It also varies from the whistle, the length varies. The length of the whistle varies from 600 to 750. 750 and it varies from 600 to 750 mm. So you might see one that is a bit longer than this, you might see one that is a bit shorter than this. And then it varies in length. It is ranged from 600 mm to what? 750 mm. So you might see one that is 600 mm. And then you might see one that is also what? 650 mm. Alright? I see one that varies from 650 mm. One that varies from 600 mm. Okay. Let's look at this saw very well. This is a postcard saw. Which has 500 to 650 in length. We look at it very well. You 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 realize that it has a part that I can hold. Okay? It has a part that I can hold. And the part that I can hold to cut is what is known as the handle. The handle. The handle. Okay, that is the part that I use in cutting. That is the part that I use in it. Cutting. Alright, and you, if you take a closer look at it, you 
You know that it has this surface. It's a piece of it. The surface here is what we call the blade. The blade. The blade. The blade. So this one is the blade. Okay. The face itself. What I can see from your view is what we call the blade. Alright. Aside the blade, you see you have the handle. Aside the blade, you have the part that we use in cutting, which we use in cutting. Okay, and that part that we use in cutting is the one that is referred to as the cutting edge. The cutting, the cutting, the cutting edge. The cutting edge. The cutting edge. Just like any other cutting tool, every cutting tool has an edge that we use in cutting. Has an edge that we use in cutting. So if you look at this one, the edge of the teeth, okay, that we use in cutting. The one that we refer to as the cutting edge. That is called the cross cut saw. You take a look at the red saw tool, it also has a handle. Okay, it also has a handle. Just like this one, just a handle, just like the cross cut saw. So it has a handle. Okay, and that is the part that we use in cutting. Okay, we also have these stretcher things. This stretcher piece, okay. That's why this stretcher piece is also known as the blade. It's also known as the blade. Alright? And the part that is used in cutting, like I said for the cross-cut saw, is also known as the cutting edge. So basically, all bent saws, okay, has almost the same parts because they all have the handle that we hold in cutting. We all have these stretcher things which is known as the blade, we all have this cutting edge, okay, or this teeth that we use in cutting, which is known as the cutting edge. So basically, like I said, we all have almost the same part, okay, we all have almost the same part. But the difference is that you might see one that the handle might not look like this. The only difference is that most of the handles are made of wood and others are made of this. See, okay. That's a little steel, which is a metal. So you can see one that is made of wood, you can see one that is made of metal. It doesn't mean that it is not a saw, it doesn't mean that it is not a loop saw. It is a loop saw. I can find one that is made of wood, one that is made of metal. The steel. Alright. One that is made of steel. Alright. So, basically, this is what we use in bench. So, we use a wood wood. And I'm making a new set of Cutting in bench production. Okay. When you are making any furniture works and you want to do a bit or a couple of cutting works, you have to seek the help of these two tools. These are the basic tools that we use in good work. Or I should say bench works. Okay. These are the basic tools that we use in good works. Okay. So next week when we meet again, we look at the job thing. So, and the thing now. So, this is also a good way cutting tool. Okay. So, for now, we will end it so the next thing we look at the good thing so, and the tenor so. As we meet again, stay safe. Good morning. Alright, bye bye.